Good afternoon, class. For this week's video assignment, I'm going to talk to you about the Colonial National Historic Park in Virginia. The Colonial National Park in York County, Virginia is a National Park Service site centered around the important locations of Jamestown, Williamsburg, and Yorktown in what is commonly referred to as the Historic Triangle. This area is significant in American history as it contains the site of the first permanent English colony in America, Jamestown, the Revolutionary Era capital of Virginia, Williamsburg, and the site of the final victory over the British in the Revolutionary War at Yorktown Battlefield. The American Revolution Museum at Yorktown and Colonial Williamsburg are two of the best historical centers in America focusing on the period of the American Revolution. The Colonial Parkway is a 23-mile scenic roadway connecting the three areas and has many historic sites and interpreted markers along the way as it meanders through the forest from Yorktown to Williamsburg and finally to Jamestown, crossing the peninsula between the York and James Rivers. The peninsula region where the Colonial National Park is located is also the scene of major, or was also the scene of major troop movements and fighting during the Peninsula Campaign of 1862 in the American Civil War. As a result of the battles on some of the same ground fought over in the Revolution and neglect over the years, many of the buildings in Yorktown and Williamsburg fell into disrepair. In the 1920s, financial and business magnate John D. Rockefeller started a project to restore Williamsburg, generating an interest on a broader scale for similar projects in historical preservation and restoration. On December 30, 1930, the Colonial National Monument, later to be become the Colonial National Park, was established by proclamation by President Herbert Hoover. Peter Burrell, in his article, Area Development Effects on the Colonial Parkway, Colonial National Historical Park, Virginia, referred to the congressional authorization earlier in 1930 that the park be created, quote, to preserve the historic structures and remains for the benefit and enjoyment of the people, end quote. Then in 1935, the Historic Preservation Act established the National Park Service in a management and administrative role for projects like Williamsburg and demonstrated a national resolve for the preservation of our history. The Colonial Williamsburg project demonstrated concern for accuracy in every aspect of the effort from the reconstruction of buildings and roadways to the landscaping around the town. After an unprecedented effort, Rockefeller in 1934 declared the project, quote, complete to form through an intensive effort that included demolishing 440 buildings moving 18, restoring 66, and reproducing 84, end quote. Today, visitors to Colonial Williamsburg, with its extensive collection of buildings, structures, the music, food, and a cast of living history actors, are provided with an unforgettable experience of history come to life before their very eyes. The battlefield at Yorktown did not have quite the same restoration experience as that in Colonial Williamsburg. As noted earlier, there was a battle here during the Civil War, and Confederate forces actually used the old British fortification lines as part of their own defensive works. As noted in the National Park Service Bulletin for the Battlefield Park in 1960, quote, the original Allied works were leveled by Washington's order immediately after the siege, but reconstruction of more significant portions were made possible through careful archeological investigation and documentary research." End quote. The cornerstone for the Yorktown Victory Monument was laid in 1881 on the east end of Main Street on the centennial celebration of the surrender of Cornwallis. Over the years, further reconstruction and preservation efforts have restored much of the final fortification line and some of the redoubts and artillery parks to revitalize the visitor experience to the battlefield. Unfortunately, nature has a way of thwarting those efforts over time, and the famous Redoubt No. 10 is falling over the bluff towards the banks of the York River below due to erosion. One of the greatest contributions to the Yorktown area is the completion of the American Revolution Museum at Yorktown in the last few years. This is reputed to be one of the best and most advanced historical exhibit and interpretation sites in America for the Revolutionary War and obviously the Yorktown campaign. In conclusion, it's highly recommended for any student of American history, but especially of the American Revolution, to visit Colonial Williamsburg and Yorktown. 
I lived in York County twice in my life and both times yielded numerous great experiences and memories of visiting both Yorktown and Williamsburg. They are so rich in the history and culture of the colonial period they simply cannot be missed. These sites are not only supremely integral to the overall story of, the Amer of American independence, but also are tremendously well noted, excuse me, are also tremendously well done sites for the study and interpretation of this period of American history. Mark Nichols noted that these sites, quote, are the center of one of the premier historical attractions in the United States, end quote. Thank you, and everyone have a great weekend.